Day and since today is Father's Day, this week's Top 5 Wednesday's topic is Favorite Father Figures in Literature. So these are the top 5 fathers that I really admire in the books that I own. Uh, these are in no particular order. So the first book that I have chosen is Hans Huberman from The Book Thief by Marcus Zusak. I have chosen Hans because I really admired how he took Liesl from the first day. He understood her. He did not put any undue pressure on her. Uh, he understood the complexities of Liesl's life, how she had come. He gave her time. He gave her space. He even uh, tried to include her in things. He tried to give her a life that otherwise she would not have had. I really admire him as a person. Uh, he tried when Liesl said that she wanted to read books, even though he was not really good at reading. Uh, he uh, helped her along. With, he educated himself uh, so that he could educate her, and for that, I really, really admire him. The second character that I have chosen is Baba from The Kite Runner by Khalid Hosseini. Initially, Baba is very stoic and he is uh, he prefers to stay away from his son. Uh, his son usually plays around with his friend Hassan while Baba is usually in his work. But as the story progresses uh, and as Amir, the main protagonist, grows up, the relationship between Amir and his father develops into something that is very beautiful. Uh, towards the end, they are more uh, of a friends than a father-son uh, uh, relationship. Uh, his father, even though is very traditional, which we see uh, initially, uh, he when they move to another place, he tries to embrace uh, the progressive thought. He tries to become a friend. He sees that his traditional thoughts would not be best for his son, which is why he does his best to help him in every way out. I really admire him because he put his son's lives and his son's aspirations and dreams even above his own. So for that reason I have chosen Baba. The third character that I have chosen is Atticus Fitch from To Kill a Mockingbird by Harper Lee. Atticus is uh, unique on so many levels. He is a single father who is raising his kids. He is very busy with his work because you know he has to provide for his children but along with that he gives them a wonderful childhood, he tells them stories, he teaches them how to be good without being overly preachy. He, he just he just wants to do the best for his children and he does not he does not lie to his children that's the one thing that Atticus Fitch was really good at he, he, he like there are a lot of people who would be like you know they're just little kids you don't tell them the truth but Atticus would tell them the truth which is what I admire the most about him the fourth and the fifth father figures are not from fiction books I've picked them up from non-fiction books so uh, the fourth father that I have chosen is Otto Frank from The Diary of a Young Girl by Annie Frank. I really admire how Otto Frank tried to give a very normal childhood in to his kids uh, Annie and Margot in a very uh, small space. They were hidden in an attic for two years and Otto tried his best to make it as normal as possible for both his kids along with Peter. Uh, he uh, insisted that their education should not stop so he would take classes with them. The way he talked to Annie one on one, like uh, how he treated her as, uh, as an adult instead of a little kid who did not know anything. He understood that their circumstances were special which is why Annie should not be treated like a little uh, 13 year old. Uh, he got down to their mindset, he talked to them like adults, he treated them with respect and he was firm when it was needed, he was loving when it was needed and he was just a, a, a really great father. The fifth person that I have chosen and who is essentially the first person that came into my mind when I first heard this topic was uh, Ziauddin Yousafzai uh, who is Malala's father. He uh, he is the person who believes in equality of the sexes. He was not like he comes from a uh, from a place where uh, where the, the birth of a girl is something that is to be sad about. But he celebrated Malala's birth. Uh, he, he comes from a place where wives are just there to cook and keep 
you know keep their husbands happy but he treats his wife with respect he uh, consults her in all the major decisions he treats her with utmost love and respect he believes in uh, supporting their kids no matter what they do and uh, from the way malala is written about her father most of her success i believe is because her father chose to stand by her through thick and thin and for that reason i have chosen him so i hope you like my video uh, please subscribe to my channel for more such bookish videos uh, also leave a comment down below if you have read any of these uh, books or uh, if you have any father figures that you admire and i have not mentioned here and you would like me to check it out i would love to hear from you and i see you soon